Much Ado About Nothing is a part of this year's Hofstra Shakespeare Festival, um, which happens every year. So this is the 63rd annual one. We have set the play post-World War I because the men are coming home from war and we needed to have it in that kind of situation where in that it would be appropriate. Um, so it is set on the north shore of Long Island in that time period. Much Ado is about two couples, um, Hero and Claudio, who um, are young and in love and a little bit naive, and Beatrice and Benedict, who are older, wiser, snappier. The play is about a group of men coming home from war, and they stop in at this uh, village to visit um, the governor, Leonardo. Hero and Claudio um, fall in love. Beatrice and Benedict have this little bit of history that's probably not particularly happy and so they start off the play very much at odds and then through the scheming of two princes who came back with the men from the war, Don John and Don Pedro, one has a good scheme in which he would like to set up Beatrice and Benedict as a sort of fun game for him to pass the time and Don John has a more evil scheme to tear Hero and Claudio apart. Being able to play this role truly means the world to me. It really came as a shock when I got it, but I'm so, so, so thrilled. Um, it was a little overwhelming going into it because it is a long-standing tradition. It is something people look forward to and um, know about, the Shakespeare Festival. And um, it's a role that you know people really like. People like Beatrice a lot, and to step into those shoes was a little bit scary. A huge challenge and one that um, has been really enlightening to take upon myself. Jean Dobie Giebel, the director, who's been really amazing in terms of guiding me through that process, and her assistant director, Michelle Rizzo, who's also been doing an amazing job, and Maureen McFeely, who is kind of our go-to Shakespeare girl, who has been really wonderful in terms of helping us really understand what we're saying, where we're coming from. The show is very much a collective effort. It's part of all of us and we are all part of it. And we have a very short space of time to put the show up. And so I think everyone has really put their best foot forward. All of the shows I've performed in here have been vastly different, presented vastly different challenges. Um, the first one was Cabaret. I played Fräulein Schneider. Um, and that was very exciting. That was my first one. And then I um, was a part of Undeclared History last spring, which was a new show written here um, about Hofstra, about Hofstra during the Vietnam War. And this fall I played Lady Bracknell in The Importance of Being Earnest, which uh, was particularly challenging, but also very rewarding and very fun. The Hofstra Department of Drama and Dance has completely outdone any expectation that I've had when going into college. Um, I wasn't someone who wanted to go to college, I wasn't excited about it, but I went, obviously, and this has been fantastic. Every teacher I've had has been amazing. I've, um, I'm a part of the BFA track, so I've had very intensive courses in speech and movement, and I've enjoyed them all immensely, and I do feel um, like a very well-rounded actor, thanks to my training here. And I'm very thankful to everyone who has you know, been a teacher, been a friend, been a mentor in any way. I'll be graduating in the spring and then moving into Manhattan, auditioning as much as I possibly can. Ultimately, I'd like to go to grad school and continue my acting training, but um, I'd like to take a little time before that. You should come see Much Ado About Nothing because uh, it's a really fun time. It's a, it looks beautiful. The set is wonderful by David Henderson. Um, his assistant, Alex Beja, I believe, and Pei Chi Su did the costumes, Mallory Curtin is her assistant, um, and they did a really beautiful job. Everything looks fantastic. Everyone is having a really great time working on it. Everyone's very proud of what we're putting together. I think that this play, Much Ado, is particularly accessible to everyone. I think that the story is very easy to follow, whether you're a Shakespeare buff or you've never seen a Shakespeare or you're, you've never seen a show. Mm -hmm.